Photoshop Photo Merge coming up next. Hello and welcome to Astrophotography Tutorials. My name is Doug Hubble and today we're going to talk about Photoshop's Photo Merge. What Photo Merge will allow you to do is it will allow you to take two different photos and then stitch them together without a seam. For astrophotography, many times you'll, you'll see these larger mosaics of photos and what they do is they take these pictures and then they just kind of glue them together. Take your different uh, images and trim the edges and crop off any of the extra feathering. Uh, when you stack your image, sometimes you'll get this feathering effect on the uh, image. So if you don't trim that feathering, then what it will do is it will make a line on your uh, image where it seams it together. So just go ahead and make sure you, you know, trim off the edges and uh, get exactly what you want before you begin. Uh, what I have here is I have uh, two images here. I have a, a bottom of uh, NGC 2264 and then I've got a, a top version of it here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, Photoshop's File Automate Photo Merge. And what it will do when you do this, it will bring up this little box here, and I'll show different layouts. I use the auto. Now, when you select these files and you go into here, it does make a difference on which order you select them. So I'm going to select the top first, and then I'm going to go back in, I'm going to select the bottom, and say OK. And what it will do is it will go through and it will stack these images. I selected the top because it'll give me the best crop cut when I uh, put this together. As you can see these two images, I didn't get the rotation quite right and I kind of made a large overlap over it. Now if I would have selected to do a photo merge and I selected the bottom first and then the top, you can see the difference here. The uh, bottom part is kind of an angle and I really wanted to get this bottom part inside there and therefore if I were to you know do a crop it would look like this. So by selecting first the top and then the bottom, then I was able to uh, get the type of uh, layout that I wanted. I wanted you to be aware of that. If this is your first time watching, I would like you to subscribe. I publish two astrophotography videos on the 1st and 15th of every month. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.